along with Amisha. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back now with another video uh, in this dating and marriage relationship series. So I hope you enjoy it. In this video, I want to talk about your you guys' standard women this is specifically directed at my ladies here this video and my question is what is your standard i was inspired to do this video after uh looking at looking at a video on dr phil um there was this young woman who um you know she was going around on different social media platforms saying you know she used to date this guy and he was uh somewhat physically abusive to her and he and she was thinking oh my goodness he really really loves me because he puts his hands on me and and he risked going to jail that show that he really really loves me and I tell you after I watched that video I was just like or while I was watching it I'm like where did that thinking come from like where in the world did she get that type of thought process with with thinking that this guy really truly cares for her because he'll risk going to jail by putting his hands on her and then she even went on to say that she broke up with that dude because he wasn't putting his hands on her enough to her that wasn't proven that he really loved her as much as he should that just had me to wonder like is it they, if she thinks like this could there possibly be other women out there in this world that thinks like that and they think that that is actually something to be proud of or something to actually go for and you know that be their standard so which is ridiculous utterly ridiculous I do not condone physical violence or any kind of violence domestic violence none of it it's just utterly ridiculous so but again if she could think like that there may be some other folks out there and so my question is to you ladies watching what is your standard I see a lot of people a lot of friends on my Facebook you know they post those different kinds of memes about I want a man to do this and that and the other and not all of them are bad but we won't post everything we we think on Facebook we don't do that are you one of those women who condone physical violence you you want you want your man tough and rough and street into you that's that makes them a manly man you know I just want to point blank say if you are in fact one of those type of women I want you to understand that you are you are worth so much more than that you have to realize that violence does not equate to love it doesn't violence does not equate to love and so if you're one of those women who were saying you know you want you a, a street hood you know slap me across my face face type of woman you might need to reevaluate what's missing inside of you because that is not love and, and i understand that some people come from different backgrounds and so they may be used to seeing certain types of behavior um growing up in their home and you know, they're accustomed to that, they're used to it. And so they think, oh, that's what I'm supposed to be looking for too. But that's so far from the truth. Violence does not equal love. That's not love at all. That is, it's what it is, is violent. You need someone to treat you with love, respect, kindness, be gentle to you. So there's so many other ways for you to um, define manliness. Manliness doesn't have to mean you know, putting your hands on somebody and being street in the hood at all. I mean, it's okay to have specific uh, desires about what you want your man to be. Desiring someone to put your hands on you, that is that is so far-fetched and so not the right thing to think at all. I just want you all to, to think about what are your standards. And maybe yours isn't quite that out there with, with the physical violence, but there are, I believe, some, some females who want that guy that has that big time street reputation or he has all the street credibility in the world but doesn't have anything else going for him, okay? Okay, yeah, so he can fight, okay. Yeah, he can curse somebody out, okay. He got, he has all these, these big stacks of money and he may sell all of this and that in the street, okay. Is that really someone that you can see being the uh, father of your children once you're married? And is, is this someone that you want to instill those values and, and what they do, their beliefs into a young, uh, your your young son or your daughters that's really someone you want to raise a family with you know i just think sometimes we can get so caught up in in what the world loves and 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 you got to be this and that and tough and but you don't think about in the long run this is someone that you're gonna have to grow old with they can't be in the streets and running in the streets forever in the day they just can't do that you know you can get would be 80 years old trying to sell something on the street it should not be a goal it should not be a goal again we are entitled to have our likes and dislikes about men i just want us to make sure that we are really valuing our worth as women we are queens we should be treated as such as queens not uh, not as a piece of trash or not as an uh, inanimate object i mean or not as an object at all we are we are human beings we're queens we're daughters of the king 
that's how we should be treated i encourage you all to examine your standard what is it that you want your man to be like you know for me i wrote a journal before i got married i wrote a journal about what well, all the things i wanted my husband to be well i prayed on it you know i made sure god spoke to me to make sure i was the woman that i needed to be before i got married you know it's so easy for us to write down our little list okay he better have this he better have that and you know all of this and but if we're not together then that's what, what are we doing? We're asking for something for, of someone else, but we're not trying to get ourselves together. Anyway, I encourage you all to, to examine your list of qualities that you want in your man and make sure that they're, they're, they're in line with um, you being a queen. I'm not saying to do the most now. He has to make, you know, six figures and he has to be um, living in this mansion. I'm not saying that type of thing. I want you to get too, too bougie on me. But I mean, it's okay to have standards, but make sure they're, they're realistic, they're safe, make sure they're in line. Make sure it's something that God would approve of. You know, don't don't get so caught up in this world, but this world has you thinking anything and everything is okay. And that's not true. There is a, there is a, there is a boundary. But yeah, back to when I created my journal, when I was uh, dating, before I started dating, according to my husband, I had a journal where I wrote, wrote down every quality that I wanted in my husband. And when I tell you God answered my, my prayers, there were some things in my journal that I tell you my husband has every bit of it and then and then some. There were some things I left out and I'm like, oh man, I'm glad you have that quality about you because we really get along, we really mesh mesh well with each other. Think about that. Let your guy find you. A lot of a lot of women are like, I can't find a man. He you ain't supposed to find him. He's supposed to he's supposed to find you. But make sure also that you're putting yourself in, in good places for him to find you. You know, I have nothing against clubs necessarily. I never did clubs. I don't do clubs. But I mean if you go into these all different kinds of clubs, you, you might not you might not find Mr. Wright in there because the one that's gonna treat you like a queen and not put his hands on you, chances are is not in the club. Go, go, go somewhere else. Again, I'm not against clubs, and I'm not, and I'm not talking about every single club. I mean, there are some really nice jazz clubs, you know, some some really nice, sophisticated type clubs. But if you go into a club where every, you know, everybody and their mama is twerking up against the wall, you're not gonna find, <laughs> you're not gonna find your Mr. Right there because that's not what he's looking for. He, his heart is filled with lust and that's what he's looking for. Someone to help fulfill his lust that's inside of his heart. Not someone that he wants to make a home with and, and make a life and have children with and support. He's not going to be there. So don't be looking for him because he ain't going to be there. Think about that. Think about if, if you want, if you get into that point where you want to settle, put yourself in a position to be found. And so that means re-examining your surroundings. Where are you going? That's something to consider as well. So I want you all to really examine your standards. What is your standard of of this man that's going to take care of you, um, is going to be your partner for life, and to be the father of your children, someone that you're gonna, you know, you're gonna raise a family with. We need to really examine that. And I'm not saying everybody has jacked up views. I'm not saying I'm perfect and I had the the right view all along. I mean, I'm I'm still growing in my walk with 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 God, and then also, you know, learning about marriage. I'm, I haven't been married extremely long, so I'm learning as well. I just I hate to see women, um, you know, young women struggle with worldly concepts of what a woman, um, what a man is supposed to be. Um, he doesn't have to be tough and, and rough and street. He can be a gentleman, be kind and be sweet and be nurturing. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the person, with the man that you uh, wants to, to, to dress up in a suit and go to work every day and not be in the streets and selling drugs and, and doing God knows what. There's nothing wrong with wanting a man that's opposite of that. That doesn't make him less manly. I encourage you guys, my sisters, my, my friends, examine your standards. What is your standard? Thanks for spending a moment with Amisha. I'll see you guys later. Bye.